Yo, what's up guys, I'm Charis and welcome to a new video. Today we're doing another of my trim requirement mini guides, so let's get started. This time we're going to be doing the Barbarian Scavenger trim requirement, which is to find all the Barbarian notes inside of the Ancient Caverns. As usual, I'm just going to assume that you already have the completion escape if you're going for this, so I'm not going to go too much into details on requirements. But just in case you don't know, the way to get to the Ancient Cavern is by using the Fairy Ring, which you have to fix from inside using, I think, Bitter Cap Mushrooms. Or you can also use a Games Necklace to teleport to the Barbarian Outpost, and from there you can run south, and you can jump into the Whirlpool over here. The teleport will take you right about here, and you can run south, jump into the Whirlpool, and you'll be inside of the Ancient Caverns. As for the items that you need for this requirement, there's not many. All you have to bring is combat equipment. I do recommend you bring dual wield melee because of the bladed dive ability if you have that. If not, it doesn't really matter. Other than that, I would recommend you bring an enhanced excalibur and uh, some shark to heal up. It's also useful to have a weapon with mobile on it since you're going to be surging and bladed diving a lot. So in my case, it's my enhanced excalibur and I'm going to wear that for this video. The tier of the weapon doesn't really matter since the monsters here are pretty weak, so if you have an enhanced Excalibur or something different with mobile or you can get mobile on a different weapon, I definitely recommend it. In general, there are two ways to get Ancient Pages. I recommend you do both every run in order to make the most out of your time. So the first one is killing monsters. All the barbarians and skeletons in here do drop the Ancient Pages, so you can kill all of them inside here. I'll show you your regular run after I kill a couple. So yeah, every monster in here has a chance. The other way to get ancient pages is by rummaging the skeletons that you find on the ground. There are three total spawns and I'll show you them in a second as well. Some of these skeletons on the ground will spawn a monster that you do want to kill because those have a chance to drop the pages as well. There are a total of 26 different pages and you do have to collect all of them in order to get the achievement. Each page has a different examine and I'll leave a link down below to the wiki where you can see which page has which examine and you'll usually get them in order so it doesn't really matter. You can tell if the page that you got is a new one or not by the text you get on the chat whenever you copy the page to your logs. So just left click the page and it'll say on your chat you already have this information in your logbook. That means uh, that you already have that page. I already have all of them so I can't show you the other message but the other message would say you copy the page to your logbook. I'd recommend not hoarding the pages and copying them to the log right away because I found that the page that I got the most was the highest number of page that I didn't have. So I kept getting the same one over and over again other than one or two different ones and whenever I claimed that one I would get the other one that I didn't have right away. I can't tell you this 100%, but I'm pretty sure from my experience that this is the way that it works, so just copy them to the log as you get them. If you don't know which notes you have or which ones you don't, you can come over here to Auto just by the Whirlpool and talk to him, he'll offer to give you one or two books, or actually he won't offer, he will give you both. The one you're interested in is my notes, so you can destroy barbarian skills and you can look at it. And not every page isn't a full page, so the page number one ends over here after this paragraph, then page number two ends here, page number three over here. So in the end, if you have all 26 pages, let's check it out, how many pages in the book are there going to be? There are going to be 16 pages. Also, you can see the context of the, of the page and you can look in the wiki and see which pages you have and which ones you don't. But like I said before, you usually get them in order, so don't worry too much about that. There are two important locations in this cave, the, both their starting point and the ending point, and they're located here and here. So to start your run, you want to make your way to one of the two points that I started. I'm starting from the south and it's a little bit different, so I'll show you both perspective. Right now I'm going to kill all the enemies, then bladed dive over to the skeleton. It did spawn a skeleton, so I skilled it as well. There's a couple more enemies in this way. Uh, there's That one skeleton dropped me a page, so I went back and picked it up. I kill all the enemies. Don't forget to kill those in this little corner over here. There's also a skeleton here. That's two out of three skeletons. Then you're gonna move a little bit north and then to the west. And there's one more enemy and this is your other starting point. And this is why I call them both starting points. Once you get the last skeleton over there, you're gonna get out of combat. And once you do, you're gonna hop on one of your friends. You only need to hop between two worlds. The time is enough for all of the things to respawn. And once you're over here, you're gonna start with the scrummage skeleton. Then you're gonna move over to 
to the other monsters. You're gonna go around the same way, just backwards, and you're gonna end up in the same place where we started on the first run. And this is gonna be pretty much it. A couple of recommendations I can tell you is do as I say and not as I do. Try not to surge into walls. Get your plated dive and everything as on point as possible. Use your bleeds, they really do help a lot. And if you can turn soul split on if you think it would help. You can also turn regenerate on right before you hop so that you can get a little bit of health back. Also, the cooldown on the Enhanced Excalibur resets after you hop worlds. So if you want to use the Enhanced Excalibur to heal after every hop, you can do that as well. And if you do have Bladed Dive, remember, if you kill an enemy within 6 seconds of using the ability, it will the cooldown will reset, so try to use Bladed Dive onto enemies and not just onto the ground. The Skeletons can also give you these mango bones along with the regular bones, those are pretty much useless so you can get rid of those. And to further prove my theory that the drop rate isn't the same for all of the pages, but it depends on your progress, I have all the pages and I was doing it for around 15 minutes which got me 3 pages in total, they're all the same page which out, out of 26 that would be super rare to get all the same one and they're all page number one. So I don't know it just kind of seems weird to me I'm pretty sure that it'll give you more odds to get the page that you don't have or in my case it'll be page number one since I have all of them but yeah you do as you as you'd like. Anyways guys that's gonna be it for this video and I do hope you enjoyed. If you did make sure you leave a like down below as well as a comment telling me what you thought on the mini guide. Other than that you can subscribe to my channel by clicking the button right below my name. I wish you the best of luck on finding all of your ancient pages and on your quest to trim completion escape and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya!